Yes, yes, yo, welcome back. It's still tea time, and yes, it's still early in the morning, of course. And yes, I think we're about to start the show proper. Are you guys ready? Let's All do it. right, so let's do it real quick. The first story is on superstar singer Innocent Two Face Edibia, who has finally reacted to the marriage saga with his wife, Annie Edibia, that has been making headlines for days. This is coming after leaked audio of his wife, Annie, made rounds on social media on how the singer ran out of the country and made the hit of the marriage saga. Taking to his Instagram story to react to the marriage crisis, to face Dibda pleaded to the general public to stay out of their family business. Hmm, it first people. I admit that bringing our personal issue on social me media was not cool, but I, I will not sit back and watch everybody have a free fall battle here in the name of love or solidarity. None of us is perfect. I would like to urge our families and supporters to stop the madness and the public to please respect our privacy and our kids. Let us deal with our issues internally. I take God beg una. But did you go to America for Peru? <laughs> That's why that's I would, for Peru. <laughs> yeah, that's my question. <laughs> no, no, like, I think it, it just didn't want the whole saga. And, and didn't tell his and wife. And left the country. Without telling his wife. Did you guys see, um, listen to the audio? Of his wife calling. Yes. That's how we know the info. That's how we know the story yeah, that's what I'm now. That. And she, she's not saying he went to see for her now. She says, that what she's asking, saying. Why did he go there? That's what I'm asking I'm now. Not. Why are you. He was just worried <laughs> now. She was disturbing his life. I'm about to take a break and he went to America. Why did you guys take it for a break? I'm not at Disney. That's money <laughs> now. I booked a hotel. Mm. With who? Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Okay, so he with his manager and his brothers and his cousins. Uh, and his cousins. <laughs> they do their own team. His Annie, manager. Annie, 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 hmm. Annie. Annie needs to slow down. Right? She needs to slow down. I know that it hurts so much because you have put in too much. I, can, I, I know that the, the shame that she has consumed for this man, even from the beginning of their love story, is so sad. First of all, let me just say that. Shout out to, to um, Two-Face for breaking the silence and saying yeah, something. Yeah. And I think what he said was respectable, but he, he, has, he has no water. He cannot hold. Mm. Because, your, first of all, your love story was done in our faces. Right. You get what I mean? You are a public figure. Unfortunately, it just comes with the job. I do, I do think people need to respect that in how they talk about it and not really adding fire to the flame, especially when you have the influence of doing that. Yeah. There's, a, there's a few celebrities that I know that obviously mm. what they say would affect them because they're closer. So I, I know people need to be more respectful and stuff, but to ask the public audience to not say anything mm. is ridiculous. You get mm. what I mean? So for me, for as a, as a um, what's it called now? A viewer of your story, Watching how you started being very promiscuous and whatever. Mm -hmm. This is one of the stories that people would laugh at Annie and say, what else were you expecting? But you see, the thing is, I disagree. Because when you put her in a white dress and you said that we were walking down the aisle, you told her to forget. Look at um, Whiskey, for example. Whiskey has not promised anybody anything. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. He's, he, even though they're not complaining, they're not crying. He has babies everywhere. Yes, they're happy or whatever. But nobody can say, oh, I, I need your 101,000 loyalty because mm. you promised me that. Do you get what I mean? But you, you wifed her. She's not a co-wife. Even though you have 10,000 people in the, in, outside or whatever, you still promise this girl that you are going to do gonna life with... only one. You get what I mean? So, yeah, maybe it's ridiculous for her to think that because of your history, but I think it's, it's also human for her to give you a chance you it's and believe that... No, no, I'm saying, yeah, well, it's I guess so, but it's also human for her to believe him because oh, why not? Do you know what I mean? If you promise me that. So, um, you, you need to also respect your marriage as well. Like, I don't really care what's going on. You cannot leave the continent... <laughs> and not tell me, like, what? Yeah. wait, wait, wait. Do you what if guess? she's becoming, you know, way too much? She's becoming. It violent. doesn't matter. You should tell your wife. I shall bow to the house every day, and I just need my son. Except you are going, as in, like, you are going, yeah. you're not coming back, and we're having an issue. You can tell me, listen, I'm so, uh, like, I need a break or whatever, but. I need, I need I need whatever. I'm gone. I'm I'm, I'm ready. He yeah. said he was going for a shoot. Now, do you guys know if the shoot is, is in America? <laughs> That's the venue of the shoot. Yeah, that lie and stuff mm. is not very necessary, especially but when. What is a shoot? Especially, especially okay. when she is currently telling you that she suspects that you're having an, a, an, an inappropriate relationship with mm. your baby mama. That's not the time you want to go and travel mm. to the same city that your baby mama is living in without telling Question her. I don't understand the fact that. Question what are you doing? Are they they're both in different states. Huh? What if you're bold in different states? Did he tell you he said that he's going to? We don't to? know that. Hmm? Eh? 
We don't know but that. But I know that they're in different cities. Trust me, I know that. How? How do you know? I do not always know these things. Now, men don't behave like that. So <laughs> even if she will, she really wants to come and meet him in, in the other city. Same mm. different, but it's a potato. He, but, he shouldn't but, deserve that. But at the end of the day, I saw, not to trivialize anything that is happening, but I saw a post. Somebody said, African queen, you break fast. Why are you not to call her very fast? Yeah. <laughs> no, but she's not African queen. She's African, she's African queen. queen. So now, African so. Queen, oh, okay, okay, so talking to her. She's a big right. of African queen. So if this, if African queen got served breakfast, who are you not to call yeah. it? <laughs> and you see, I saw something on Twitter the other day when someone was saying that this is so sad watching Annie do that because whatever she's going through, maybe she's not the perfect girl in her family or whatever. The point yeah. is, she's held this guy with so much respect on social media for the longest time. So we said, at least we can give her a round of applause yeah. for doing something right. But obviously, it's gotten to a point where it's too much and now she's doing different. But the point is, this person was saying that she she hurts um, on behalf of Annie mm. watching because that voice not carried so much pain. She you get what I mean? Mm. The, she told somebody to pack the car so that she could go rant. She even called it rant. I want to rant on Instagram live now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going going to go. See, the baby is helpless. No. The baby is helpless. You don't see Annie posting stuff like this about her private life. Like, and she I've did it actually. See, somebody, 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 let's talk about that. Posting. Somebody. Se took this thing Posted from it. and is a family member. Of course. Took your recording. Are people okay? I'm took the book recording and then put it on a blog that like you sent it to a blog site. Like, are you like what is that? That just shows Nigeria. We don't have any. You know, shows roles, his family. We don't have any structure. You see, it no shows his family as well. You see, this yeah. thing that they were, they were dragging. This for me is the first time I'm going to now pick sense mm. and say that um, Idibia's family too. They don't have sense because in the voice when she was referring to them, that yes. I know you guys mm. don't like me, whatever. So you hear your your brother's wife talking about that and you no i don't think she was talking she said that no no that she can't call his family she can't call his manager nobody's speaking a call she was yeah. referring to his, his family, family. Did you don't like her that was yeah, but she wasn't talking to his family it wasn't his family member that licked the tape uh -uh. Was it Two Faces family mm, member? We don't know that. that. No, no, in the voice note, she was referring to his, as in she was saying that, like, I know you guys don't like me, da 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 yeah, da Yeah, but da, the person that yeah. leaked the voice notes wasn't who did she? Who did she send? It's just a random friend. No, if I who did she send the voice notes to? The random friend. random friend that mm. she sent the She sent the voice notes to an Edibian, or what, you know what's her surname? Edibian. Edibian. Yeah, yeah. To an Edibian. <laughs> <laughs> she sent the, the voice to an Indian and yeah. that got out. That's what I'm saying. That's why even um, Two Face is saying my fans and my family. He's talking to his family to, mm. to stop I the think nonsense. It's about his brothers, well, who's also terrible. coming out to speak mm. because and the like voice is also leaking. That because that's, that's something that I know that people are talking yeah. about a lot on Twitter. That it's not okay for you to. For you to post this is our family doing that. Yeah. Like you're trying. You you obviously heard that thing and laughed at her because if you thought if, if you if you shared in her pain, have you wouldn't have done that. Yeah. So you found it. You found something to be laughing something that is laughable and what then you sent it to social media. that family member just shared it with another friend and that friend that, was like, The fact is that he me. shared it to his wife, to his twin, to his whoever, you're you already wrong. Them, can you imagine what your face is doing? No, see, I need you cannot pay for her. You have to now send it. What if they are in different towns? Then you freaking oh, hold it and matter. tell somebody <laughs> or tell your neighbor or something. I'm just, like, you know, I'm just trying to be the devil's advocate. I also think it's horrible what people, you know, the extent people will go for mm. clout or I don't know what this is for actually it's because they are not going to pay you for it. It's not like they're not paying. Yeah, so it's very sad. I really like this morning when I when I was when I saw that we're talking about it on the show. I I said to myself like I feel like. This thing is getting a bit more serious. That uh, is looking like, uh, like what you understand what I'm trying to Divorce? say, yeah. No, like, I don't, because, I don't okay, think so I think he's getting that. I think he has done so much exactly, to face and she has not like said anything about exactly. it. Maybe they like said now it she is privately. So obviously the baby's here, but no, she wasn't the one that posted it. Do you understand that the voice that leaked wasn't her that posted it on social media, so right. we can't really say that oh, she's so fed up. And then she posted on social media. You don't think that wasn't the one. sounded like she was very fed she's up? She's fed up, but then not to the point of posting on social media. Do you understand? When you right. put your, your matter out there, to go on IG then from that's that a problem. She was just, 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 like, just saying that because she was angry. She was angry. She didn't I don't go think live. she do that. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? She Annie, didn't go Annie live. She's like just that. saying. Yeah, she's, she's just saying. Like I just, nah. I just hope she'll be fine, I and I think be this fine. is. I feel. Yeah. I hope that, um, our friends right now are checking in or not, yeah. and making sure that she's very okay because she sounds like. But she's if really do you broken. think do you think that for women would you advise as a man yeah that if let's say I want to get married now, and I bring somebody that has so much history like that like kids outside kids everywhere do you think it would be mm. or, do you, as an advice to somebody that you care about would you say that the person needs to judge that matter and not. Um, what's it called? Um, no, no, judge that matter and not get involved, or they should leave that matter and 
love with understand. the person. They should, they should forget their mother. history. Yes, do you, you as can't. In like, you can't forget no, you the can't person's tell somebody history. to do that. You, in no. fact, you have to keep reminding them. That and um, you it. have to let them know that, look, it's a 50-50 situation yeah. for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You know love the cross you're about to carry. Because, yes. I mean, for love him to have crazy. a lot of baby mamas and stuff, he can do it again. Love will make what you will change him? Is it the ring? The ring that would... So, basically, I would say that she did not see this coming. I think, I think she, she did. Distrusted. She believed she's been there mm. even but while the other women him. came mm. around. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So yeah. you like, mm, it has to see there are relationships like that. They're just toxic. Do you understand? You just mm. know, like, we break up today, go, go apart for like three, four months, five months, we find we each other again. again, we come back. So in between that three, four, five months, I, I, I don't impregnate person, no. Or you've heard about it already, but mm. you love the guy too much, you're still sticking around. You know, so I think it's just love. I think it's just love. That's yeah, why love I don't is think never enough. love. Never. Love enough. is not enough. Yeah. Maybe. It's not enough. That's, so that's, that's something that I feel like people really need to start asking questions about. That do you honestly, like, because I know people always, people always advise Both. others that look at the person's, you know, past. History. If that's that, and people always say, don't judge others. Like, Nicki Minaj preaches this story. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's her story as well, that she's saying that don't look at people's past, that people can change and all of that. And now, if you look into the fast forward of that statement, according to Annie's story, that's a bad advice because. It will come back would and you, would you bite marry you. a man that has, you know, a lot of baby mamas, you know, had the history. I won't. I won't. So that's not my cross to carry. Mm, I no. won't. And I guess no. that's why people don't have mm -mm. that much empathy for her because if you, if you, if you're, what mm. you're saying, like what you said about 50-50, there's no way that she wouldn't have heard that before. Mm. That there's a 50-50 yeah. chance that this could happen in your future. So she cannot she be like thought about it. So she doesn't have to hear it. She will think about that. This man can actually do this again. Yeah. Can I withstand it? And she said yes, and she entered. So I mean, well, I everybody's. Anyways, I wish them <laughs> the best of luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I I it's very sad. Anyways, let's move on to the next story, and this one is on Princess Francis. If former housemaid of Nigeria's popular reality TV show, Big Brother Niger, was accused her brother of threatening to kill her. According to the reality TV star, her brother has threatened to kill her over a refusal to sign on as a brand ambassador for his business. And she says, if anything happens to her, um, we should know who is responsible for it. But how do you guys, what do you guys think of the story? Is it not, you know? I think this morning we are talking about a lot of family dysfunctions. Mm. Like we can see from Annie, it was a family member that leaked her via um, audio. This mm. one too, now brother wants to kill princess. I feel like the um, the importance of family or the value of family is getting displaced. Nobody understands what it is anymore. Mm. And most times, or in many cases, people put material things or um, their dreams or whatever they are trying to get above family. And mm. I don't think that should be... Um, the adage that says the blood is thick, thicker yeah, than water, ah, that, that doesn't is, apply that, that anymore. Adage should take I think the it's, dead. To, hey? it's dead now because nobody really understands. Nobody really cares anymore about family. They can do anything to get what they want. Mm. They don't even they don't even check up on family. They don't care. And I think that's a very bad thing because at the end of the day, those friends that you're mingling around with, they're coming out with you. If anything goes south, it's still there, your, your family. family. It's still your family you have to run back to. So I think we have to, I don't know how, is it resensitize ourselves on mm. the importance of family? Family mm. is too important to yeah. let go. Like, I, I, I no. really like that you mentioned that all of this thing has to do with like, family disputes. Mm. I've always said, though, like, um, that's why when, every time we have conversations on Twitter, because I used to shop on Twitter sometimes, and we have conversations about, on Twitter about like how you raise your child, all this flogging, all these, um, how mm. you, inter like those things are so important because the, the societal reflection comes from the family unit. If anybody understands um, that there's no progression that can happen in any mm. community, in any aspect of life, mm. if it doesn't start from the family, family unit. Yeah. And I don't think that Nigeria has a very, in my opinion, I'm so sorry, I don't think they have a very beautiful culture when it comes to family yeah. units. I think that mm -hmm. we, in fact, that that's one of the places that, that harbors a lot of toxicity. Yeah. And it's so penetrable. Yes, mm. yes. I feel like we don't protect our children enough. We don't protect the no. um, abused enough. I don't think we value a lot of things. In fact, I feel like, I don't know, it's just a hot mess here. Um, in regards to Princess story, first of all, I was like, Princess. Do you think religion, sorry, just to, you know, 
put some yeah. icing on what yeah. you just said. Do you think religion is also part of it? Where you go to a church and they will say, ah, the person doing you is your brother. Yeah, yes. Do you know that type yes. of thing? Religion and then it starts. I problem. think religion is also a reason part why it, yeah. the family union is not as tight as it should be. Yeah, because mm. like, I don't understand. How are you a Christian and you can't pray about it to hear? You so, go yeah. to yeah, one religious one, yeah. leader and then you hear, yeah, say, ah, my your your brother family, is brother, trying to kill you, village, your sister your is trying uncle. to... Do you get what I mean? Mm. That's so much. There's so much I think that nonsense. also affects, you know, yeah. that's when the person will start. I can remember, um, you know, a video that went viral of a guy that was beating, beating up an elderly woman. Yeah, and we thought was his mom. That even. we thought was his mom. Do you understand? Yeah. And then when the guy was asked, he said to him, they said she was bewitching. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I think, yeah, but carry on. Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, ha I don't really have a comment on that one because I'm not sure if it's, if it's religion that necessarily is the culprit or if it's just people that use a religion as an excuse mm. to be mad mm, because mm. that was a thing. Um, but uh, what's it called? With Princess and her brother, it's really sad. It does happen. I loved that you brought up um, monetary values into yeah. things because um, when you find a society that is a, a bit third, third world and our problems are very interconnected to economical situations, meaning mm. that when you're poor, when your country is poor, you have problems like mm. this because this does not arise anywhere else and I know that's not mm. poor. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That everything is wrapped around that, that yeah. they, there is a vicious... Um, that, that Nigerians are in a vicious mood of survival that it doesn't um, see face or relation or <laughs> blood or that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, and they, they, everybody just wants that clout chase. When, when I first read the story of, you know, the bass, I thought it was just like a normal brother that she mm. was close to and maybe he felt personal. Like, why are you taking deals for everybody? You're not taking deals from me. That one I understand, to be honest, because like, yeah. ah, well, we grew up together. Now, there's a guy that wasn't even helping Do you get mom. what I mean? Nothing. Like, you're not now even in my life. Now somebody, now he's trying to reach out to her. This girl was a taxi driver. Do you mm, understand? Yeah. Like, you couldn't help. And this guy, we just can't call the name of the company, but he even has a nickname because of his company. Mm, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, he's doing very, very well. So you could have helped Princess a long time ago, oh, but it. now you need a service, and then you are now using... Yeah. Yeah. Brother, you know, yeah. putting the yeah. age card and all my that. Final, my final point to this story, though, is that I don't think threats to, should stop at um, social media. I said the same thing to when um, yeah. Kemi came out and said she was having a dream about somebody dying, and then yeah. she said she didn't know the person. See, all that stuff, I don't take it lightly. Nobody does. Like, in the Western stuff, they'll always tell you if you ever get a threat, you report it to the police station. Let me ask you a question. Mm. If I Nigeria. had a, a negative, God forbid, that I have a negative dream about you, do you think I should tell you? Yes, no. don't tell me. Why? Just pray. Don't tell me. Pray about it and let's move on. Don't tell me. Would you see yeah, that as a threat? Don't. That's what I mean. Like, no, no, no. If I'm I saying that a threat, but don't tell mm. me. No, but this one, this one was... Okay, so mm. let me tell you Kemi's story. I don't know if you remember that story. She said, yeah. I had a dream that one comedian died. Mm. I'd never heard of him before. I don't know anything about him, mm. but I just heard in his name in the whatever. And another person replied and said, Ma, you know me. We did this together. You follow I me. Imagine. You texted me. So that means that your dream is a lie. You yes. mean that you are yes. basically Cloud saying you just say. want to me mm. to die. Like, ah. Sister, like, is there <laughs> <laughs> Is that oh, really well, yeah. That's a very different conversation. So mm. For me, I don't like when death and I want to kill you and I want you to die. That Anything in mm. that circle, I don't think is for social, social media. Mm. I think you need to actually make real life Text actions. Yeah, like, is everything okay? Am I supposed to be threatened mm -hmm. here? And stuff like that. So I like that she brought it out because you also need that um, um, accountability that everybody mm -hmm. is watching you, sir. Yeah. If anything happens to her, that's great. Mm -hmm. But proper authority, too, should be involved in the story. Mm. All right. What about you? What do you think? No, that's, that's, that's everything yeah, you said that's is a, correct. Yeah. Yeah. All righty then. So let's move on to the next story. And this one is on, you know, Father Abraham. <laughs> Father, Father, what, what do they call them again? Father of many nations. Father of many nations. Yeah. 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 Nick Cannon um, isn't pumping the brakes on expanding his, fam his family. In fact, he's open to having more kids, but had the final decision is really up to the higher power. Um, Nick, who was seen in Harlem, um, was asked if he was going to stop having kids now that he's had seven, including his son Zen and twins Zion and Zillion earlier this year. Nick says he's got no problem welcoming more kids into the world as long as it's part of God's plan. Basically, if it's God's will, he will keep fathering as many children as possible. No problem here. No problem. No either. problem. Because he added the clause that he is ready to take care of them. Mm. So, like, it's a different case. Yeah, mm. It's a I different did. case. When I, I hope no Nigerian man sees this and starts to have ideas because 
Mm. Number one, we are overpopulated. <laughs> we don't need any more, mm. any more, you, you know. <laughs> we don't have a social structure. At least America, there's a social structure. We can, mm. you can take your kids to public schools. It's still good. You don't have to pay. You have your um, credit cards. You have all of that. We don't have it here. So, I mean, it's a different world that he's saying, oh, bring more children. We can do this. We can, I can do that. I can take care of the child because the structure is there to also help him. Let's even forget that he's even rich. Let's forget his nick. But then the structure is there. So I think he can. Nigeria men, please don't, don't do it. Don't take, don't take a clue. Like, don't even don't. Cause what if they can don't. take care of the kids? Yeah, it's so a different thing. Well, if it's they a, can. So it's the Nigerian men that cannot take care of the kids who yes, we are talking about. I don't understand. You don't know the are Nigerian men that are no, richer than they can. Even the ones that can take care of the kids. Playing? Please, we don't need you having 10 children or 7. Why? Because you're about to Yes, we are. Because That's the problem. We are <laughs> over yeah. yeah. But not over. Check statistics. Though, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's also Bro. because they are, they are, what's it called? We're not just uh -uh. overpopulated as well. Because yeah, America much. has more people than us. The problem is that our, mm -mm. our land is not fitting. It's not enough. The amount of it's people not enough. that is. And we don't have a structure. We are not even making yeah. proper Thank use you. of it. We don't have a structure for all that. Okay, on surface value, I agree. But if I think about it deeper, I don't agree. Because mm. I think that there's more to taking care of a child and really being a father than money. And I don't think you can split mm. yourself into mm. 13, 15, 25 mm. ways mm. and mm. stuff. The only thing I like about this story is that one is not illegal to do that mm. two he's being honest he's not doing um one kind of you know all these but, uh, ways no, that people honey. be doing it he's not yeah. saying that i don't have kids he's not saying that i want to marry you to have kids he's not selling any dreams i like having many children outside mm. i don't care who is if it's with one girl or two women or 30 women this is who i am so every girl that's walking interacting and having sex with this man knows exactly who he is and do you guys know that he even and she's okay with it start a business called um spam bank so he wants to start a spam bank so you know and they can that's serious. Okay. <laughs> Nick Cannon's That's serious. That. No, but I think it was a joke, though. It better I think be. it was a joke. I hope it's I a hope joke. But wait, wait, what's wrong with it, though? Having a spam bag. Yes. A bill. That's actually this good business. If I'm very fertile and I've discovered that I am very, very fertile. I mean, I, that, that, that's obviously why he's bringing it up yeah. because it fits his brand of yeah. like, mm, I have a lot of um, sperms to give. Uh, <laughs> Again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not illegal. It's very weird and it's not traditional because I know that the modern society that we know, especially because we now know that we have to do better for our children than just giving them money of and course. actually being part mm. of it. That's why we disagree with this kind of thinking because it's like, are you, can you possibly father all these children? He can. Well, no. Of course he can. Of course he can. Well, yes. yes. He can. My, my he people. Can. The my only people. problem is he they are not living under the same roof. Thank and you. And that problem. makes it different. No, what are you saying? Mm, when you're growing up, my, my, my grandpa had 13 kids. But they all live together. They we don't all know all stay under the roof. Exactly. Yes, no. My so, point. So, I mean, exactly my point. These the are kids women kids different everywhere. places. Oh, yeah. You're going to create a dysfunctional a family and you're saying it with your full chest. Hmm. That's the problem here. That's a see, problem look at the, the trend that's happening with Kylie Jenner, congratulations by the way, getting pregnant. Okay, so um, you see, even Cardi B one. as well. Mm -hmm. So these ladies here, yeah, very influential women, obviously yeah. which makes it hard for you to even find people that mm. you can want to have kids with or whatever. But I've noticed now that there's a big trend going on and there's a reason why. If you have sense, you will know that there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit and blame anyone's preference. I'm just trying to state why his preference is a bit toxic. These girls even have men that are a bit questionable. You know, of um, offsets cheated mm -hmm. on this girl. Yeah. Um, Travis, Travis had, well. they broke up and all of that stuff. But when they when they want to have their baby, they still go back, back to the to same him. man to do that. It, it's very obvious that, that that for me is also for the isn't child. That, isn't that as well? Toxic? That no, it, it, I mean, a man that is you know, bad, that you don't want okay, to, first you of still all, go back okay, and first of all, cheating not, is bad. First Okay, you see, that's, the, the that's, attributes that's is what bad. I'm going to say. It's not bad because but a lot of people back. actually are okay with that stuff. Let's not lie. But is that so, right? Let's people, to be cheated on. Yeah, some people... So why do they come out to right. talk about it when it happens? Why do they leave their homes when it happens? That doesn't even why? make it right. No, what I'm saying is that not everybody sees cheating as a, like... But um, she saw it as no, a problem. Like a deal breaker. No, 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 not as, like not a, as deal a problem, breaker. but as a deal breaker. I can have problems with my man. Mm. That's not a deal breaker. We'll be fighting inside the house, but that doesn't mean I want to leave you. For some women, cheating is one of those things. For these women, clearly it's not. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that they have that they're, they're romance in it, but it's not a deal breaker. The point is that for their children, their kind of, because you have to think about your your your, your kids and like their siblings and mm -hmm. how that that dynamic is gonna be. That at least mm -hmm. everybody's coming from the same household. It'll be easy to do Christmas together. Mm -hmm. It'll be easy once these women start mm -hmm. to have relationships with other people. They're gonna have siblings. You're yeah. gonna have a dysfunction with with you're bringing Different children into women. this world that have mm -hmm. daddy issues.
All yeah. right. Anyways, guys, let's go on a quick music break. It's getting hot. So, yeah, let's go on a quick music break and tea time. We'll be right back. Go nowhere. Welcome back, guys. I'm sure you enjoyed that from, yes, my fave, fave. Hey, oh, you saw what I did there. You saw what I did there. It's a dry joke. No, this dry joke. No, this is not a dry joke, man. Well, you think it's but funny. But that was good. Huh. For my fave, fave. Think about it. Huh. Don't leave me, don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, yes, no more stories. But yes, we have, you know, another segment, you know, to just vibe with before we say bye. Anyways, um, people that stay alone, please, how do you guys cope with boredom? Hmm. Hmm. It's not boring, though. I think it has become, like, it's not boring. a way of life. Way We're of now life. used to it. Mm. Yeah. Is it but, but go out though. You? How do you cope with yours? Okay, so I no longer I no longer live alone. But when I did, to be honest, my personal experience, I wasn't that alone. There was always somebody that was even begging like a jaw, like mm. Can I come? Can around? I yeah, over, like can yeah. you no not even no, I'm saying that there's always somebody in my house. There's always girls in my house, there's always people in my house, people that wanted something, they has they have a party in the island, saying for the weekend, you know what I mean? Like also I waka waka a lot. Mm. So I'm even home that, that much. much anyway. Yeah. Let me start with that. So usually I'm I've gone out, I've hustled, 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 and I'm coming back to sleep, like to literally use my last energy to maybe clean the house, cook and then pass Drag out um and if that's not the case i'm usually with someone or people in the house um mm. there's a lot of people that were at my, my house as well and then my neighbor was my good friend so oh, if ever the bottom really yeah, yeah. They ever the bottom really hooks me like that guy how far are you home i'll just go and stay but there are some times where the the, the silence can be there like ah oh, okay <laughs> depression is not the word but you can feel that yeah there's a silence like i mean my thoughts here yeah. i, I like it. days like that i want can't be days, too. days you know, like that if out of seven days in a week, I always need a day like that. Oh my! Oh, I feel like I need. Yeah, I feel like I need doses of that every day. I feel like I need doses of that every day. That sometimes after after I leave no. the office, I'm always like after I leave the office, I just recorded um, some kind of news um, TV content yeah. that I I literally don't want to talk at that period. And I'm always in the Uber, so I use that time to just keep my mouth shut and just like I don't pick up calls. I don't mm. do any of that stuff. So yeah, you need moments like that as well. Alrighty, so man, I think that's about it. You haven't told us how you deal with yours. Me, I love it. I love it. My alone time here. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to give a, a story. Just one minute. Just yeah. one. My mm -hmm. friend, she's she can't she can't stay alone. Her mouth mm. is always running. And do you know why? She says when she keeps quiet and she's on her own, she starts thinking about terrible things. So oh. I think that happens to a lot of people. Yeah. They can't. So that, that's yeah. another that's angle a problem. To yeah. Yeah. We're out of time, guys, and that's a wrap for me today. But thanks for watching. You can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and, of course, in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co anchors, Ifeomai and um, Lady Nima and of course our studio guest um, Willie XO who was here earlier um, virtually and the entire production team thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time my name is Ife Oshunkeye let's go